All right, so you have access to Photoshop and you have access to Lightroom. That's fantastic. How do you use them together? In this video, I'm going to show you how Photoshop and Lightroom talk to each other and you're going to understand how to use these two programs, when to use Photoshop and when to use Lightroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop and Lightroom together. So I'm going to give you the integrated workflow, which is going to start as in Lightroom, go to Photoshop and then come back to Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. I've got a shot that I've got of the uh, Chrysler building in uh, New York. And let's just make a few adjustments to it. I'm going to grab the develop module. First thing we want to do is straighten this up a little bit. So let's grab our crop tool here and we can kind of bring that in a little bit. And then if we want to uh, change the angle, we can click and drag like this to straighten it up because it feels like it's just a little bit um, topsy-turvy. And we can see that looks a little bit better. The other thing you could do is you could actually just drag outside of there to do that. And you'll see that little griddle will appear and that will help us get this more or less straight on. So there we go. So we're just kind of cleaning that up a little bit there. All right, so let's apply that by simply clicking away on any of the other tools see that so let's make some quick adjustments here I'm going to recover some highlights a little bit here and I'm gonna open up some shadows just a little bit let's go down and give it a spot of clarity just to crispen this up a little bit and a spot of vibrance so that's looking pretty good um, you know there's other things we could do we could put vignettes around there and different things like that if we wanted so before we do that though, why don't we just have a look actually I'm going to create a little gradient here from the bottom going up. I'm going to hit this shift key right now. I'm going to create this little gradient. I'm going to drop the exposure down. And then what we're doing is just kind of blending this up a little bit. There we go. So we're kind of blending this up into the Chrysler Tower. So another thing we're going to do here is I'm going to grab this uh, little tool here. We've got this uh, little oval tool here and I'm just gonna grab that and we're just gonna create ourselves a little selection around the middle now here's a key if you hold down the shift command and double click this will fill up the whole area and now I'm just gonna create a manual vignette like that just to kind of bring a little bit of attention into the middle of that building so you can see it's kind of looking interesting now and it's making it look very dramatic with those clouds so let's actually maybe go back uh, just click away on by just simply clicking once again on one of the other tools and this will bring us back down to our adjustments and I'm gonna give this a little contrast boost here there we go because what I'm looking for is to bring out some of the drama there and those clouds maybe just a little bit more clarity let's have a look see how that looks yeah that is looking pretty nice and at this point here I think I'm getting ready to pass this off over to Photoshop and we'll do some more work on it. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to choose down to the uh, edit in. We're going to choose the edit in option and instead of choosing edit in Photoshop, we're going to open it as a smart object in Photoshop. And then by doing that, what's going to happen is this is now going to launch Photoshop and it's going to open this image in there as a smart object, which means that we can go into camera raw. So here we go. Command zero. Now I can go into the camera raw by double clicking there and it'll open up this. So now we're in Photoshop and camera raw. Here's the cool thing. All our adjustments that we made, let's grab our gradient. Notice our gradient is still there. And all of these settings, so now we can play around with this. We can change it later. These are completely non-destructive, meaning that these will still work. See, I can change any of these settings after the fact right here inside of Photoshop so let's go here I'm gonna grab our tool there see that is our exposure there we could turn that up or down we could change that once again we can uh, click over on a hand tool and we could change the overall color temperature warm this up a little bit so if you wanted to put a little warmth there into the Chrysler building and you can see that's looking really neat there's a lot of things we can do but in this case here what are, I might actually want to get rid of this area here inside of Photoshop so that's gonna be really hard to do that with our gradient and our oval applied so I'm gonna grab our oval I'm gonna delete that right now and I'm actually gonna grab our gradient too I'm gonna to select that and hit delete so I'm actually gonna remove those right now so all we've got is just our basic adjustments I might tweak this a little bit too let's have a look at the exposure just a little touch maybe get a little touch of contrast and um, well actually we 
need to go away here into our image again. Let's tweak our exposure just ever so slightly. I'm kind of liking that. Cover our highlights a little more there for our clouds and then click OK. And so notice that we've gone from that and it's going to apply that here inside of Photoshop. So why do we do that? Because I want to clean this up. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to clone it out. And it's much easier to do this without the distraction of these gradients and things like that because it would make it more difficult. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my patch tool and I'm going to make the patch tool go over here and we're just going to do a little bit at a time. Let's grab the top there. And what we need to do here is make a new layer. Uh, notice I was having problems doing that because it wouldn't do it. And we're going to choose sample all layers because we have a smart object. And now if I go over here, I can now select it here and we can actually start to do this non-destructive editing right here. And let's just wait for that to clean it up a little bit. Now, if it's looking a little weird, we can change the color. Let's up the color to about four and watch what happens here. This will actually make it fit a lot better. So this is a new enhancement that has been added inside of Photoshop CC 2014. So if we do that, notice those tones are matching so much better now. Let's grab it there, pull that up and release it. And it should blend in much, much nicer. It's going to take a second there. There we go. And notice that those blends are looking fantastic. So what I'm going to do is hit Command S for save. And we're saving this out right now. And I'm going to go back to Lightroom. So here's our image here. It's going to update in Lightroom. Notice there we go. We've got rid of that. We've cloned it out. And now all of this is just a matter of just reapplying this gradient, which we can do right here. I'm going to hit the Shift key there to uh, straighten that up a little bit. And we're going to drop our exposure down a little bit. Let's grab our tool here and we're going to drag that out once again, holding down shift command, double click on oh, that be shift control, drop our exposure down. And there we go. We've gone right back to this effect again, but we've cloned that out. So see how we've gone a round trip. We've taken everything from Lightroom into Camera Raw and we were able to edit that in Camera Raw. Then we're able to go back into Photoshop. We're able to even create a layer. Uh, make some adjustments, bring it back, and then work again inside of Lightroom. So you'll notice what's happened here is it's actually created a TIFF file out of this. So our original image is actually still there, the CR2, right there. There's our original before we took it to Photoshop. And there we are afterwards. So you can see that we were able to have both of these. So here's a cool little trick I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete that, these adjustments that we've made. And let's grab this. So here's the adjustments we've made. We just put this photograph in. So what happens if I select this photograph here and the one we just bought in from Photoshop? What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Sync. And I'm going to check None. And now the only thing I want to apply now on here is we've got two things we could apply. If we want to apply our adjustments here, we can do our local adjustments, which is our brush and our radial filter and our grad graduated filter, those are the ones that we did with those local adjustments, hit synchronize. And now look what happens. We go back here, here's our image, that's the TIFF that we bought in from Photoshop, and now those settings that we did there are now actually applied on here. You'll notice that this one's looking a little bit lighter, and that's because um, we lightened that up in Photoshop. And if we want, we can go back down to our clarity slider here, and we can give that a little bit of a boost of clarity to kind of bring that effect back. A little bit of vibrance, and there we go. So there's our image that we have edited, Round Trip, Photoshop, and Lightroom. Now, there's other things that we can do in Lightroom and Photoshop together. If we want to work with panoramas, or we want to work with HDRs, we want to uh, open multiple images and stack them together into layers, we can do all of that directly here from Lightroom. And a lot of this is going to be when we right click and we choose edit in. So we can edit in Photoshop. We can open as a smart object if you want to keep it non-destructive. We can merge as panoramas, HDRs, or open as layers. So you can see there's a lot of different things that we can do with Photoshop and Lightroom together.